Hi my YouTuber friends, it's Scarpunk again with another video and this video is all about um, which vehicles do you prefer when doing van life, which one would you pick? Then you have the van here, you have the um, E150 with the windows and last and last least, not least, you have the, the regular van, no windows, more commercial vehicles. Now guys, I'm in my van right now, playing a video game, I, I kind of pause the game because I'm doing this video for, uh, so I can play to you guys more and give you my perspective on which vehicles you should choose, Not well not you should choose, the choice is yours, always find your own way, be a leader, figure out what you want to do, but this channel is to show you a better way, a cheaper way, and probably an easier way to do things, or, or to, or, or to alternative living. Rather than pay rent, gas bill, and more, well, you're gonna pay gas for what? Rent and mortgages. And have more freedom, which is what we all want. I kind of, I was playing a game right here, the video game here, while I was in the van, but I said, you know, let me pause it so I can do this video about the van. So, the thing is, uh, the disadvantages, advantages. The disadvantages with regular vans, cargo vans, or the vans with windows, with high top, they're smaller. So you have smaller room to, to move around in, like a closet, or like a big full-size closet. And if you, if, if people are not, if you're not into, if you're not into smaller enclosed areas, it may not be for you. The RV now, on the other hand, the Class A, Class 3, Class C, especially, Class B as well maybe, because Class B is a, a crossbreed between a van and an RV. So I want to keep that one there. Well, even that, okay, well, I will. There's more space in that, a lot more space. You can, you can shower in there and all that sort of thing. Shower, the cars, you have a lot more space. And, and, and that's the advantages with an RV versus a van, the more space for you. But the downside is, you know, especially with RVs, you can't park anywhere. The RVs, they're not able to because of, because of their size. They, you can't park anywhere with those. You can't park them on the streets anywhere. People are going to notice that you're in there automatically. Unless you park it and go into the store to buy something. Then, you know. But then again, people tend to figure out that you're in there. They're not stupid. But with the cargo van and the van with the windows. Now, this is why I, I took the van. It's smaller, but you can park anywhere with the van. Anywhere, anywhere in the world. But I say, I don't mean anywhere, anywhere, anywhere exactly, because there are laws and there are places you can't park, but compared to an RV, you can park anywhere, basically. And you can be stealth. An RV is not, is not stealth, because you're always living in it, or you're camping, or you're a weekend warrior. A van, you can make it, depending on how you set your van up, you can park it on the streets and no one knows that you're living there. The only way they'll know is if you cover the front, which I've noticed on other van life videos, People open their windows, uh, not windows, I'm sorry. They don't open the windows, they cover their front windows. I watch Bob's RV on his channel, but, but there again, they're all in Arizona in the desert somewhere, which I ain't trying to go out there. Actually, it's not my style. But for those who do go out there, then they cover their windows up for the dust and people that can't look inside. I get that. But when, when you're a city dweller and you're doing van life, living in your van, you don't cover your windows. That's a dead giveaway. That's a dead, dead giveaway. People are not stupid again, like I said. And, what, and like I said, what you got to realize, you know, in my previous videos I talked about parking. No one cares where you park. But even the police officers ain't going to bother you. Most time, most cops don't really bother you. And they know that you're in there, they're not stupid. Like everybody else, they know you're there. Except you go, except if you go stealth. Or even if you semi-stealth, like I said, like my man, I got a high top on mine. So it's obviously, it's, obviously it's, a, it's, a, it's a DIY conversion one. But even that, because it's, there's no windows in the regular windows, I mean, because there's no windows in the van itself, I don't know, no one bothers me. Because I parked in the mall and the strip mall, played my TV loud, no one bothered me. I'm sure they hear something, they hear the revelance of the, the noise, but they don't bother you. And that's why I tell people, you know, I recommend if you're going to do van life or you're planning to do it, and you're, like, it's, it's, it, like if you're a city dweller, I highly recommend buying a van instead. It's smaller, yes, but if you can get a van with a high top, that's just as good. Because this way you can stand up and you don't have to worry about your back, you know. In fact, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a separate video about just the high top. Why the high top vans versus regular vans? I'm gonna do a, another video on that. That's my next one. So look out for that. 
like I said, press the notification bell down the bottom there, and uh, press the like, of course, usually, as usual, and subscribe to the channel as well. My dog's here, sleeping with me. He's down here somewhere, sleeping. Why I get to play the video game? Let me see, let me show you where my dog where he is. I don't think you see him. You see him? Yeah, are they? Sorry, sorry, Scrappy, you there? Oh, you can't see. I'm sorry, guys, you can't see. Hold on. There you are. We have light. So you have light. We can see you now. You see what? See the difference when there's no light. When there's no light on to when there is light. You see the, the video game I'm playing. Oh yay! Oh yay, motherfuckers! Punk rock, baby. Oi, punk rock, right, Scrappy? I love you. Are you relaxing? You okay? Are you just relaxing? Anyway, back to the video game. Let's put this back down here so you can see the games. Okay. There you go. So that's about it. Let me turn this light off. We don't need this light on anymore. There you go. It's not that dark out here. So that's my opinion. You know? I highly recommend. There you go. I highly recommend the van. You can park more easy to park. Better than the RV. And that's my opinion. So anyway. Any, any questions? Anything you want to say? Uh, leave a commentary down the bottom. And I'm out of here. I'm going to play my video game. So I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Later. Oi, oi, oi! Punk rock, oi! Punk rock drivers! Taxi! Taxi! Stop, 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 stop! See, I can't miss this. Oh. I can't miss this. Come on, yeah. This is embarrassing, isn't it? Anyway, guys, later, let me play this game because I'm doing a bad job. I'm hopeless. Later.